What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech, more reviews. Um, iPad Pro, <laughs> iPad OS, we got all that we know about this, we know it is capable of, but now we are looking for some of the best devices that can help you use this to its fullest potential. And today, I'm back with the Sandisk Extreme Portable SSD. This is a 500 gigabyte solid state drive, not a hard drive, 500 gigabyte solid state drive and we're going to check it out right now so as i mentioned this is the sandisk extreme portable ssd solid state drive now let's uh first let's we're gonna open it up but let's go through some of these specs so this thing has up to 550 megabyte read speed 550 per second that's a lot it's pretty good um they go up to two terabyte which i only have the 50 gig 500 gigabyte version right here um it works with windows it works with mac it's going to work with your ios device right now um very compact got it out of the box and this is all you get guys this is it tiny size palm of my hand very very small now what i want you to know about this is this thing is made for the rugged type stuff so if you're going to be outdoor filming things you're going to want to take this one with you just because it withstands rain splashes spills and dust it's ip55 rated uh, so you're going to be able to drop this thing. You're going to be able to get a little wet. No problems. No issues. Down bottom is where you're going to plug in at. USB type C is how we're running this. Let's see what else we got in the box. We got the normal instructions and you get a connector right here. So this is so I kind of like the way they did this. Um, well, I'm not sure because I may lose this, but they actually gave you one cord which is USB-C to C. And then you get this adapter, which turns it into a USB type A. Now I guess this is kind of good and it snaps in, you know, you got the little arrows on there. So you lined up, you snapped in. I guess this works out cause you don't have to keep up with two cables, but now you do have to keep up with this piece. So I'll probably keep it like this when I need it. Just take that piece off. Let's check out the actual hookup of this. I'm gonna plug it into my iPad back here. So on my iPad, I don't have a whole lot of huge files. Um, don't do a whole lot. I have my hard drives and my SSD for that. But let's um, go to my files. Let's try a document. This is something from my job. I'm going to move this, going down again, stream SSD, and I'm going to make a new folder. I like the capital letter. Documents and copy. And there we go. It's over there. It's on the drive now. Now I did put a few movies on here. So once it pops up over here, I'm going to come to my movies. And now I put Dragon Ball Super Broly on here. I put the Meg and I put Venom. So Dragon Ball Super Broly is 6.1 gigabytes. I don't want to try that one. I don't know why it's so large anyway. But the Meg and Venom are like right at two gigabytes. So I'm going to try Venom. Um, you select it, hit that. Once you hit that, you're going to move. Where do you want to move it to? I want to go here. Um, actually, I want to go here to my iPad and find my movie tab. And I want to copy Venom. So it's working on it. And I'm not sure if it will actually do it because I know we've had problems with larger files being transported over. So let's see if it did it. Go into movies. And there we go. Let's make sure we got a good copy. I'm going to click on it. And I'm not going to play a lot because I don't want Sony coming after me for this. go it seems to be working yep so it worked 
So I know from the Samsung, we had some issues with the larger files coming over, but on the SanDisk, <laughs> no issues. So maybe this one will be the better of the SSD. Uh, I'm going to try out both of these head to head and we're gonna see which one can actually withstand the large file test. But for right now, SanDisk seems to be winning. And not just that category though. Uh, SanDisk, like I said, is IP55 water resistant. So this is going to withstand splashes. It's gonna withstand uh, spills, the rain. It will not withstand being fully submerged, but it's dust proof, shock proof. If you drop it, files won't get damaged. Your internals won't get damaged. And you should have a pretty good experience with this overall SSD. So this comes in different configurations, 250, 500, uh, one terabyte and two terabytes. You can pick this up at any Best Buy. You can jump, get it on Amazon. I'm going to drop a link below so you can see my recommendations for the iPad with iPad OS. But hopefully this is able to help someone out. The price point on this is going to run you about 90 bucks if you can catch it on sale. But that's going to be pretty much it for this device. A good little device with a lot of great features, especially since it's water resistant, shock proof and dust proof. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.